Thanks, Basil. Some great tips. We hope you follow them. Well, as we previously mentioned, with Hurricane Matthew expected to make landfall on the Bahamas early next week, members of the Disaster Management Committee are feverishly preparing for that weather system. The storm coming on the heels of the first anniversary of Hurricane Joaquin, which devastated the central and southern Bahamas. During a press conference this afternoon at the National Emergency Management Agency's Gladstone Road headquarters, NEMA Director Captain Stephen Russell confirmed they're in a state of readiness. I am pleased of the state of readiness of all of our government agencies to respond to um, this approaching hurricane over the course of the next um, 24 to 72 hours. So we are, I'm pleased with the state of readiness at this time. Over the past two or three days, we have been making contact with all of our island administrators, um, making contact with the local disaster concert committees in all of our islands to ensure that they are convening the meetings. And I'm pleased to inform you that they have been meeting during the course of the day and um, early into um, Monday, the, 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 latter, the latter group will meet on Monday to meet and to, to finalize their plan of actions for the approaching storms. That is those islands in the northern and more in the northern Bahamas who will probably meet on, on Monday. NEMA officials are among the many organizations encouraging residents to prepare themselves and their properties. And they should, should they feel unsecure in their homes, make their way to the nearest shelter. Now, currently, there are 22 shelters here in New Providence, which is broken down into four divisions. Eastern, Southern, Central and Western, one special needs center on Dolphin Drive and 108 shelters in the Family Islands. For residents who plan to weather the storm, here's what you need to bring. Representatives from the Ministries of Social Services and Works also updated the media on their level of preparedness. Bring at least three to four days of supply of medication. Also, small food supply with uh, preferably canned goods, because as a result, that we wouldn't have the necessary utensils to cook those food. So we might only have a limited, a limited um, um, cooking um, space for that to happen. We secure government buildings in the matter of the sphere. We responsible for further physical damage assessment, along with our part of the social service who do the other aspect of it. And we also responsible for storm drainage and road clearance. Those team, each, each teams have been, been alerted, and we are meeting, preparing to take each, each of those responsibilities. And as usual, we expect that we would um, be in a position to, to, to address any situations that arise 